What is up you guys? Thank y'all so much for tuning in. So this week Volvo USA sent me the 2018 XC40R design. It is an incredible looking car. So of course this is my in-depth review. I will take it on a test drive. I'll show you guys details about the interior, the exterior, and I'll show you all the back seat room and all the features. Also be sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. That way I can keep making more reviews for you guys. So starting with the exterior of the XC40, it is just a very sharp and well-designed car. I love the, of course, Thor's hammer headlight. I love the paint coat on here. It does a great job of extending all the lines on this vehicle. I also love when you look at this car straight from the front, but I also can't really help but to notice that it kind of sort of reminds me of a panda which is kind of strange. Now, back to the headlights. So of course, like I said, Thor's hammer headlight, but the headlights themselves are one of the best that I've used in this class of car. The, the light they admit are so bright, very, very bright lights. Of course, they're full LEDs. Um, you are going to have LED fog lamps as well. Now the fog lamps are actually also going to turn on when you turn the steering wheel left and right that way you can see easier to the left and see easier to the right and of course your blinkers are going to be leds as well um, when you unlock the car at night the lights sort of softly turn on and you also have a puddle lamp that comes out underneath each door handle which is just really neat as well now as far as the wheels this r design does have the upgraded 20 inch wheels and they are some sharp looking wheels they're so good looking in fact that i think from a profile this almost looks like a range rover evoke it is just such a great look on this little suv volvo did a great job and as for the back it's very simple the um, tail lamp is the signature volvo led and right in the middle you do have your blinker now my favorite exterior design though has to go to the little swedish flag located right in front of the driver door all right, you guys, so getting into the XC40 is pretty easy. Here is the key for the XC40. It's really beautiful. Uh, aluminum on the side, the Volvo symbol, and then you have this Napa leather wrapped on the outside. Kind of strange, but it sort of reminds me of like an ice cream sandwich. Maybe it's just because I'm hungry, but you do have your lock, your unlock, your trunk release, your panic button on this side. So you can, of course, unlock the car with this, just like that. Uh, but you do have a touchpad on the door handle, so you walk up to the door handle and you have a little indent right here, so you push it on there, that'll lock it, mirrors will fold in, and then you put your hand right behind here, unlock it, mirrors will fold out. Coming over to the door, very cool door design. You sort of have these little aluminum pieces going right into there. You have this big aluminum door handle, which feels awesome. Your Harman Kardon speaker, memory seats, two settings, this beautiful lava orange carpeting going all through there. And then you have a really good amount of storage space because the base speaker is removed from here and they actually put it in the dash, which is a pretty neat thing. Uh, coming down here, you have more of that lava orange running down here, aluminum pedals, all of your seat controls. The leather quality on here is very nice. It is a Volvo and they are very well known for their seats. So they are orthopedic design seats. So the seat comfort on here is extremely high. Um, your Alcantara running all through the middle, your ultra suede looks really nice. This sort of uh, blonde piping running all along the side looks really cool. We'll go ahead and hop in and check out the rest. All right, so shutting the door on the XC40. Really solid shut. These things, so impressed. They sound like tanks. It is a really solid feeling car. But here's another look at the interior. All right, starting the car simple. So as long as you have the key on the interior of the car, put your foot in the brake, and you're gonna push the start button. Right. And that gauge sweep actually looks really cool at night. So starting the car up at night looks really neat. You have tons of nice looking lighting. You even have lighting that will sort of shine off these little aluminum pieces and it just looks really, really cool. But starting with the steering wheel, you have a really good size steering wheel, really chunky. You've got perforations along the outsides, 
smooth leather up top, blonde stitching going all throughout the middle. Of course, your art design with this full aluminum piece right here, which is really high quality. Volvo um, stamp right in the middle. Over here to the right, you do have, of course, your menu button, your voice commands, all your different controls to control different features of here. So, of course, you have your previous next, and then your volume for the radio, and then your select right there in the middle. Over here to the left side, you have all of your cruise control settings. It's very easy to work. So, you do have a sort of a pilot assist, which works as a mild autonomous driving. Now, right now, it's on regular cruise control, as you guys can see there with the little car. Now, if I push this button right here, it's gonna switch over to pilot assist. At that point, you literally just hit that button to turn on cruise control, and then you hit it again to cancel. Very simple, and of course your plus and minus to adjust your speed, and this is for your adaptive to adjust how many car lengths you can stay behind the car in front of you. Very simple. Right behind here, you have these really nice paddles, your minus and your plus over on this side. You do have automatic wipers and automatic headlights with your fog lamp button here, and you also have a button right down here which works as sort of like a rear fog lamp it's pretty cool not exactly sure what it does to be completely honest so if any of you guys know please leave a comment in the comment section below now coming up you do have your vent over here with more of that cool aluminum texture right there the whole dash is soft touch really nice quality solid dash another speaker for your Harman Kardon sound system and you have Volvo's tablet style screen which is the same screen in every single one of their cars it's a really good screen so for good reason they put this screen in here very responsive you push that button to go home you hold it and what that'll do is it'll put it in cleaning in cleaning mode so you can go through clean your screen and you tap it when you're done to turn it on very responsive so you can scroll through just like that and now you do have pretty cool features in here so for example you can go through here and hit this to fold down the headrest so if the headrests are in your way while you're driving, so that way you don't see your headrests in your rear view mirror, you can fold them down really neat. This does also have um, autonomous parking, so you can, the car will park itself. Parallel park and perpendicular parking as well. And then a bunch of different features in here. The camera on here is one of the best that I've seen on any car. The, the quality is just really just out of this world. Your 360 degree view is pretty cool. And you can actually go through here and click each camera so you can see a side view. So if you're parking alongside a curb, you can see that angle and if you click it again you can see your front angle if you're trying to get real close uh, to something making sure you're not hitting the front of the car and of course your backup camera when you put it into reverse your backup camera will come up right there and then your mirrors will fold down pretty neat now coming through here again you do also have all of your temperatures on each side you can exit out of that you do have heated seats no cooled seats and of course heated steering wheel right there and the sound system here is also very good and then you do have Apple CarPlay in this vehicle as well and so your vents really nice quality vents I really love the look and the style of those coming down a little bit you have your driving mode so if you hit your driving modes you have eco comfort off-road dynamic and individual so of course your eco is for economical driving your comfort is for your comfort use um, dynamic is obviously what you know high performance stuff like that individual you can really customize it to what you want and then the off-road is pretty cool we actually tried it out just a little bit softens up the suspension just a hair so um, you can really absorb a lot of the imperfections when you're going off-road but it does a really good job especially with this four-wheel drive system in here your volume is gonna be right here of course your player pause previous next your hazards front defrost rear defrost coming down here you do have your Apple CarPlay slot right here. So you can't plug it into here. You have to plug into this one right there in order to activate the Apple CarPlay. 12 volt wireless charging pad, a little bit of extra space over here on the outside. Extra storage, but coins. Your little shifter right here. So you bump it up twice to put it into reverse. Bump it down once for neutral and then down again for drive. Park is the button you push right there. Your electronic parking brake brake hold right here so you do have that now the cup holders are a pretty decent size so uh, you can't really fit anything other than a water bottle in there so the water bottles can fit fine anything bigger than that you really won't be able to fit anything in there uh, coming to the armrest you do have a really solid quality leather right here you lift that up good amount of storage space and you do have a disposable trash can there so as you guys can see I got a little bit of receipts and and wrappers in there so Pretty cool feature. I've never seen that in any other modern car. 
Now coming up here, you do have a frameless mirror design with your compass right there. Uh, home link is gonna be located on the bottom, your SOS, all your good stuff. This is going to control your panoramic sunroof. And of course, LED lighting up front as well. Vanity mirrors. All right, well that pretty much wraps up the front, you guys. We'll go ahead and check out the back seat. All right, so coming to the back seat of the Volvo XC40, uh, you do have a pretty good amount of space. Uh, I have a pretty good amount of leg room behind the uh, front seat. You do have an armrest back here. Uh, has some cup holders in there, of course. A nice little place to rest your arm. Two vents back here. Matte pockets behind each seat. Uh, you do have LED illumination back here as well. And of course, because you do have the panoramic sunroof, you have a really great view of not only the front, but you have a really good view of the sky and everything. It's a really cool place to sit. Uh, the door bins back here are actually pretty spacious because of this design. Uh, the door shut on here is really solid. It just sounds like a tank. It is crazy. Um, and of course, you do have the same leather, the same uh, Alcantara finish in the middle of the seat. Pretty comfortable seat. You can definitely fit someone in the middle as well because you don't have too large of a hump. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and check out the trunk. All right, so coming to the trunk of the Volvo XC40, as long as you have the key, you put your foot underneath the hatch and it is going to open. It's the best and most accurate system I've ever used on any car when it comes to the kit gate. You also have a button in the back you can use to fold down the seats, which will give you a really good amount of storage space. The floor also has a few tricks to it, so you can lift it up, put it in a neat little spot, then you can put your grocery bags on top, then of course you can put things behind it and in front of it. You can also lift it up to reveal the flat storage underneath, and then underneath that, you're going to have your spare tire, all of your spare equipment, and everything like that. All right, so coming under the hood of the 2018 XC40, you have Volvo's two liter inline turbocharged four cylinder. It's going to make 248 horsepower, 258 torque. You can see a little turbo nestled way down in there. But it is a pretty good motor. It's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters and this R-Design model is going to go to all four wheels. So you can see the fuel economy specs up to the right. But let's go ahead and take it for a drive. All right, you guys. So driving the 2018 Volvo XC40 R-Design, I love this car. It's such a cool, quirky little Volvo. It's so neat. Now, okay, first thing about this car. So let's talk about the interior for just a second. So the interior is very, very nice. The seats are okay. Um, they don't hug you as much as other Volvo cars. The bolsters are actually kind of flat. Um, they do a decent job, but for the most part, I do find myself sliding around just a little bit. Um, the car does feel very top heavy. Um, you definitely feel a lot of roll in the car. Now, the R design, of course, is supposed to be a slightly sportier version of the XC40, uh, but it doesn't feel very sporty at all. It's a great car, it's just not sporty. It's not very sporty um, in the sense of like BMW X1 or anything like that. It's definitely not going to live up to that if you are looking for that in your next luxury compact crossover. I will say the motor in here is pretty strong. It's It does a very good job. Um, so you have your drive modes right here, which you can go through and select your eco comfort dynamic individuals. If I click on dynamic right here, I'm gonna make sure it went to it. So dynamic, I can scroll over to all my settings and then there's ESC sport mode. At that point, you can do a mild launch control, so I put it in manual mode, foot on the brake, give it some gas. Oh, and this thing is quick. It is a quick car. Another thing that's pretty cool, you get a ton of turbo and blow off noise. Like you get a lot of turbo and blow off noise. It is crazy. So let me show you guys kind of what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna roll the windows down for just a second. There's a little bridge here, so I'm gonna creep my way under this bridge and see if you guys can hear this. So, slow down for just a little bit. All right, here we go. I hope you guys could hear that. We'll try it again with the windows up. All right, here we go. You 
yeah you can really hear that turbo it's so cool the steering is extremely light definitely not sporty steering um, even in dynamic mode it's still just incredibly light when you put it in its eco or even the off-road mode that's on there it feels like you're almost driving a truck with how much play you have in the steering wheel it's just very very light feeling it definitely feels like an SUV in the sense of being almost truck like or utilitarian like a ute it's a great car other than that the safety features work very well you do have a autopilot system on here which works pretty okay it's not the best one that I've used uh, it does kind of bounce you around in the lines just a little bit uh, so it doesn't stay like rock solid like you would be in like a Tesla for example now driving on these back roads here is a little bit bumpy so going over really rough patches of road it actually handles it very well now with these big wheels uh, I do slightly worry about curbing them just a bit but no big deal I haven't had an incident like that yet one other thing that's fantastic about this car the maps on here are actually incredible so I used the maps on here uh, I usually use Google Maps on my phone because that's probably the most trustworthy app in my opinion for navigation because Apple Maps is just trash sometimes and I used the maps on here because my phone died. I was freaking out a little bit because I wasn't sure where it was going to take me, if it was going to even find the place I'm looking for. It found it very, very quickly, and it actually got me there in the same amount of time that I would have on my Google Maps. Um, it was very efficient. It took me on the route with the less amount of traffic, which also happened to be the quickest route. And it was just a really good experience with the navigation in the Volvo. So I'm very, very impressed with that feature. Uh, the blind spot works really well. The camera on here, like I said, is the absolute best camera quality that I've ever seen. And it comes in handy, especially when you just click the camera button uh, and you can see the sides. If you're going up to a curb, you can see the front, the back your of course 360 angle it's just it's just a really good um, system the another thing about this car is visibility so the visibility is great out of the front it's great out of the sides but when you get to the back right over here you do have a blind spot because of the design of this car you get a massive blind spot back there so if I were to look back there you have this massive blind spot which you do have blind spot monitors to help combat that of course but it still is a little uh, unsettling whenever you look back there and you can't really see you have this big area we can't see um, like I said driving the car is very plush very comfortable uh, it does feel a little rough at times so the suspension does feel a little bit busier once again I really think it's just due to the fact that you have larger wheels smaller profile tires on this car well that concludes my review for the Volvo XC40 it is a fantastic little car uh, Volvo did a fantastic job of really just making this fall perfectly in line with the rest of their lineup it really has that Volvo personality of the current lineup of cars it fits it very well it does a very good job of being luxurious it does a very good job of being just quirky different utilitarian the safety features of course on the Volvo are absolutely fantastic so if you guys are interested in this car you can click the link in my description it'll take you to Volvo USA's website you can go out there spec your own XC40 if you want uh, but leave a comment below let me know what you guys think of the Volvo XC40 let me know if you would personally buy one or what you would change about it and if you guys want to subscribe to the channel you can click over to the left uh, be sure to click that notification bell that way you're updated every single time I upload a new video and you can click over to the right to check out some more of my other reviews. But thank you guys for watching, y'all take care. Bye. That guys is pretty much it. We'll go ahead and check out the trunk. I'm stuck, bro. <laughs> the child box? Huh? The child box I think so, dude.